I caught these fish fresh from the river, so oh, really? I'm, I'm cooking them up. Oh, yeah. Really good. Good. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you pick? You Three different. Just, just okay. frying them. That's that's a white chinook. That's yes. a red chinook, and then that's a coho. Oh. So I'm trying a little bit of all three. Yes. Oh, nice. Yeah. Good back. <laughs> Thank nice. you. Yeah. First first fish of the morning. Not sure what it is. Probably a springer. Oh yeah. That's a springer. He wants to go right into that freaking log, man. He's toady. Holy crap, man. <laughs> I'm slightly interested to come over. Dude, I cannot move him. Dude, I'm getting tired, man. Really? What in the God's green earth? TSN turning point on the river here. Three hours of nothing. Oh man, that ain't a bad fish. That's a big fish, man. He is not ready. He's still peeling, man. <laughs> Goodness me. It's starting to get a little shaky out here. What's happening down there? Uh-oh. Uh oh. Dude, how is he not done? He's going down now. How is it not done, man? All right, ready for round two, Coop? Here he comes. You ready? Oh, come on. Coop. <laughs> oh my God, man. Ready? He's tired as hell, dude. Ready? Yeah. Let's see what we're working with here. Is it a doe though? Let's see, look at that. Dude, that is big, dude. That's a doe. Yeah, we're bonking that thing. Yeah? That's a doe for sure. That was a long battle, that's a big fish. Here she is. That's a, that's a big doe. Look at that thing right there. Big doe spring. Looks like someone got the poor thing in the side earlier. Bead, right in the schnoski. Can't beat it. We're gonna bonk her on shore there. Awesome, <laughs> right on. Woo! <laughs> so first thing you wanna do is get those gills out. So lift the gill plate, cut right through them. And that bleeds the fish. There you go. All right, so got a big old spring here. We're gonna take the eggs out and then we're gonna do a little, do a little catch and cook later. So to, to gut a fish, you cut right down from its anus, fresh the bait, right, it up. right to its head. And there, there is the, the row. So I'm gonna get that in a bag. Tuck the row in. So there are all the eggs. It works as great fishing bait sometimes. But beads are the ticket right now. Cut the esophagus out. Cut that dirty esophagus out. Cut through the backbone. Get all that blood out and you're done. There's two springs and a coho. Beauty, one of them's a white. One of them looks like it's a red. So this is the one I caught today. So step one, cut the head off. There we go. Cut right along.
So this is fun to look at right here. So this is a coho, as you can see, hatchery coho. We've got a red spring right here and we've got a white spring. What's going on internet? As promised, I am back. I've got the three different pieces of, uh, of salmon here that I caught in the Veta River, the white spring, the red spring, and the coho salmon. And we're gonna cook them up and do a taste test and once and for all figure out which one the best tasting salmon is. We pulled them all out of the Veta River in one night and one day of fishing, filleted them up, and I got some little steaks for us to, uh, to cook up right now. So right here, as you can see, we got the white spring right here. This is the coho salmon. And right here, we got the red spring. So, so once again, we got that red spring right here. We got that coho salmon right here. And we got the white spring right here. They're all gonna be delicious. We're gonna fry them up in the exact same way. And then we're gonna see what tastes the best. So get the propane started. You know how it goes with this setup here. And Come on, stove. So step one is the oil. So we're gonna pop the oil on. Lots of oil today. We're gonna fry these up real nice. Cover that pan in oil here. There we go, that's what it's all about. That's what it's about. Whenever I pour oil, it reminds me of that, like, uh, that game I used to play as a kid called Cooking Mama on Nintendo DS, and you'd have to like rub the butter around the pan. I don't know if anyone understands that reference, but there we go. There's a lot of people out there who hate uh, who hate white spring. Um, I'm not really sure why. I think white spring is, uh, is delicious. But uh, for all those haters out there, we're gonna eat, uh, we're gonna eat, uh, they call them the big dirty, some people call them. Some people call them the big stinky. So we're gonna eat a big stinky today um, just to show all of y'all that, uh, that it's good, it tastes good. It's all good fats, man. Why, if you're catching it, why are you throwing out the good fats? So first one we're gonna throw in the pan is gonna be the thickest one, which is a big piece of white spring. You can see that shimmer there. That's a clean fish. That's right out of the Vetter Canal. So there you go. There's that white spring chunk, skin side down first. Oh, listen to that sear, baby. That is searing and that is special. All right, I think it's getting close to time to throw that red spring on. So we're gonna do the next one. Here's the red spring right here, as you can see. Beautiful red color to it. So that's the name, right? We got the white spring. We got the red now, so we're chucking the red on. Once again, Skin side down first. We'll plop it right on there. Look at that color difference. Look at that nice marbling in the fish. Both fish have nice marbling, but that's red meat right there. Almost looks like a coho. That oil is popping. I may need to put my sunglasses on, my safety goggles, so I don't get any of this oil in the eye. We're gonna get some spices on these ones. All we're doing is super simple. Bit of salt. Okay, a bit of salt and a bit of pepper. We want to taste all the fish. We're doing a taste test here. You know, we want to know what it tastes like, so we're not gonna overwhelm the flavors of the fish. Just a little something, something. That's all we need, a little salt, a little pepper. Guess it's about time to throw this coho on. It's gonna cook fast, real fast. Get some of that oil over to the coho side here. There we go. And there we go, the coho's on now too. So now you can see white spring, red spring, and coho. Look at that. Just beautiful. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and that's it. Lots of good smells, yeah. <laughs> at least, at least nice. it's not a bear walking up on me. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Nice, I like it. Oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah. It's not too tight. Yeah, no, it's 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 just enough. Just enough. Yeah, I don't feel too claustrophobic oh, in yeah. there. Yeah. I caught these fish fresh from the river, so oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm cooking them up. Oh, yeah. Oh my goodness, can you see them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How 
would you pick? You Three different, said, just okay. trying them. That's that's a white Chinook, that's yes. a red Chinook, and then that's a coho. Oh. So I'm trying a little bit of all three. Yes. Oh, nice. Yeah. Good back. <laughs> Thank nice, you. Yeah. 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 Enjoy your meal. I wish I had the fish ready for him. <laughs> Take care. I'm not the best of chefs, you guys know that. Um, we can still see the, the big difference in, uh, in the meat. With fish, you wanna make sure it's flaky. So right when it's flaky, we'll be eating this, good. Oh yeah, yeah that coho looks done to me. The same thing, it's flaking, that shit's done. Oh man, I might have not done the best job with this one, okay. That's gotta be done. Here we go. Here's the finished product. We got the cooked up white spring. We got the red spring in the middle. And we got the coho on the right. So we're gonna run the little taste test here. The moment we've all been waiting for. Whew. Let's start with the coho. So we're gonna start with the coho. Take our first bite. Look at that, just flaking off perfectly. Mmm. Huh. Moist. Flaky. Exquisite. Now we're gonna go to the red spring. Let's see here. Mmm. So red spring. Mmm. Delicious. A little less fishy than the coho but still an amazing like salmon flavor. Red spring is kind of like, mmm, mmm, yes. Kind of like what, you, you know, when you go to the store, you buy Atlantic salmon, it's probably farm by the way, but that's what that would taste like. Now for the white, time for the big stinky. You see how it kind of breaks off a bit differently. This one's a tad bony, it's all good. Delicious. A less salmony flavor. The white spring. It doesn't taste as salmony. The texture is slightly different from the coho and the red spring. The coho I found to be kind of the most flaky, kind of the lightest. The white and red spring almost is like, I guess like a bit more oily, kind of a bit more bouncy when you chew on it. A bit more chewy. The white spring pretty much just tastes like tilapia, halibut mixture, if you were to merge them both. If tilapia and halibut were to have a, a love child, that's what white spring would taste like. And frankly, it's really good. White's definitely the driest, kind of chewiest. Most halibut-like, like if you dress the white spring right, said it was halibut, put it on a restaurant menu, fed it to a non-food critic, I would have no clue, no clue. Even if you gave a white spring to someone who doesn't eat a lot of salmon, oh, there goes my fork. All you need is a rod, some simple gear, fishing license, salmon stamp. You can keep two springs a day, four cohos a day. Like I said, I did a night and an early morning. I ended up getting one pretty big coho, two awesome springs, and we're eating them here now. And uh, all that meat, you know, I processed it, uh, freeze packed it, gave it to my family to put in the freezer. And uh, even just those three fish, it's gonna last them a long time. That meat's done. That is completely gone. Um, like I said, all three of them were freaking awesome. All different cohos, stronger salmon. It's all, it's all different tastes and they're all so good. Um, oh man, something really satisfying about tugging that fish out of the water. Number one, finding where it is, casting in there, standing there for a while, watching your float drop, hooking it up, fighting it in, knocking it on the head, processing yourself and then sitting here and eating it, it's such like an innate satisfaction, such a natural Neanderthalic, you know, feeling. It's a good feeling. Hunting for your own food, fishing for your own food. It's all a really good feeling. So, uh, man, thanks for watching. Um, you know, let me know in the comments if you've ever tried coho, uh, red spring or white spring, what your thoughts are on them. Those are just my personal thoughts and I think they're all really, really tasty. And I just, I'm a big fish guy, I love, 
eating fish. I think it's delicious. So really appreciate uh, you guys sticking around and watching this one. And until next time, take it outside. <laughs>